I had met a stockbroker. He was interested in my art and said, you know, you want to do a painting of the stock exchange. And he had a seat, so he was able to get me actually on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. It was frantic. These little guys with different colored jackets on from different uh, uh, brokerage houses, and they, they had a side bet every day. You know, is, is it going to hit this, is it going to hit that? The guy who wins made, made some money. You know? I found all this fascinating. I thought that when you bought a stock, that the money, like if I bought AT&T, that the money would go to AT&T, but it doesn't. It goes to a guy on the side who takes this stock and he tries to create the value based on what AT&T is doing. So I ended up thinking about how this exchange works and I realized I'm not gonna just do a painting. I'll sell my own stock, do what they do. Many people thought that it was kind of a joke, <laughs> but I was deadly serious thinking this would solve my problem of not getting along with galleries. And I would sell stock into a single painting, legally, through the SEC. We had to sell half of the stock within 90 days, and we didn't quite make it. This is what art has become. It's become a commodity, just, just the way stocks are.